When it comes to wooden artwork, sandalwood tops the charts. There's a family of artists in India which carve out sandalwood to create masterpieces that would amaze you a lot. They call it the miniature wood carving, one of the finest in the world. Meet the three famous Jengis of India's northwestern town of Jaipur, who have carved out niche for themselves in the world of wood carving. The artist Mahesh Jengit and his two sons get onto their jobs in a small one-room turned workshop at his home every morning until sunset, all to carve out miniature designs of delicate sandalwood. How one can turn the pieces of sandalwood into some of the world's greatest wonders? and that too by using the simple wood carving tools. If you want to witness the same, then come to India and meet the Jangit family in Jaipur. Believe me, you can try your hands at the craft, but you will not be able to carve out wood as exquisite and intricate as the Jangit family does here. One of the unique things is that the Jangis use only sandalwood for their artwork. This is miniature work. We need to carve out details of small figurines and their mini test facial gestures. Sandalwood is just perfect for this detailing. Secondly, the fragrance of sandalwood appears senses, and it is termite free also, so its shelf life is long. Although it's costly, but we use only this for our art pieces. We draw pictorial depiction of stories in our art, like this piece I'm carving is a templar, where I will carve out several scenes depicting the life of great 16th century musician of India, Tencent. In this, I will show Tencent scene in the court of Mughal Emperor Akbar, and like this. And there is a fan where I have carved out various postures of Lord Krishna, so we take scenes for each of our art pieces. No matter how miniature they have to carve or how intricate a carving is, the Jengis do it with just bare eyes. They do not use any microscopic instruments or sophisticated tools. For them, simple wood carving tools like iron sticks, knives, and chisels do wonders. Mahesh Jengit had learned the nuances of his miniature art from his grandfather when he was just seven years old. His sons Mohit and Rahit, both in their twenties, are still learning from him. The fourth generation Jengis, however, look forward to take the legacy forward with the new age marketing tools. Their zeal and aspiration seems to take this miniature art to the next level. Earlier, when there was no internet, all our work was restricted into four walls of our home. Now I'm trying to popularizing it by publishing it online. I want to make my father a brand so that more people will know us and connect with our art. If I get a job in some other company, I might get 50 or 60 thousand Indian rupees, but there is no surety of job. They can kick out to us any time. Then what will I do? And if I am learning nuances of this art, then I will be able to carry forward my family tradition, and I want to do so by teaching it to others as well. All three Jengis have already secured their names in several national and international record books. Well, Mahesh got it for making a joint last chain carved out of a single sandalwood piece, his elder son Mohit made his own reputation by making the world's smallest playable violin. The youngest in the lineage has done so by designing the smallest housefly. Unfortunately, Jengis have sold out all those masterpieces as they were battling their doom days in the family. However, one thing that Mahesh possesses to date and cherishes the most is an intricately carved fan that brought him a national award by the Indian government. The Jengit artists, though, have no sorrow and no complaints, as they say it was just a bad luck that has gone past. Today, they only look forward for future.